whenever you guys are working on your hands-on project you need to focus more on comprehension instead of completion so what i mean is completing your hands-on project should be more than just completing it and uploading it to your github repository so that you can present it during your interview you need to understand everything you did on that project and the reason why you need to understand everything you did on the project is because you know how most companies now require you to have at least two years to maybe eight nine years of experience if you haven't worked in the cloud industry before how you are going to get that experience is through hands-on projects that is why when you are completing your hands-on projects you should focus more on comprehending what you did in that project as opposed to completing the project don't get me wrong it is still important to complete the project but it is more important to comprehend what you did in that project so if you have completed a project and you still don't understand what you did in that project you have to redo the project until you can explain everything you did in the project when you are completing a project these are the things that i recommend that you focus on make sure you understand the reference architecture for the project and also make sure you understand the services you are using to complete the project and why you are using those services another thing you need to understand is how to configure those services on the cloud. The reason why this is important is because your understanding is what will count as your job experience when you go to the interview. So if you understand everything you did on a project during your interview, when they ask you, tell me about your experience and things you've worked on before, those projects you completed are the things you are going to describe during your interview. And you won't be able to describe those projects if all you focused on was just completing the project and not understanding what you did on that project. So that is why it is very important that you understand what you did on the project as opposed to just completing it and not understanding anything you did. Another reason why you should focus on comprehending what you did on the project is because when you start working, most companies expect you to be the expert. So this means that when you start working, they are not going to train you. In all the projects that I've worked on, I didn't receive one training. But what companies would do is they will have an account to either LinkedIn Learning, Udemy, or any other platform where you can register and learn that way. So in terms of training you and showing you step-by-step step what you need to do to complete your job, most companies won't do that. Take a look at this Slack message that I received from one of the students that I'm mentoring. In this message, he's saying that he has only been there for a month and they haven't taken time to show him everything, but they are already assigning him work. Typically, this is how it is going to be when you start working. Once they have given you access to all the systems you need, the next thing they are going to do is start assigning you work. So they are not going to wait for them to train you before they start giving you work. And I want you to think about it from the company's point of view. If they are paying you over 100,000, maybe 150,000 as the expert on the cloud, they expect you to come in and start working right away. So they don't have two months, three months to train you to get up to speed. This is why it is very important that you have all the foundational knowledge and you are solid in your understanding before you start working. Because your foundational knowledge are the things you are going to rely on when your company start assigning you work. I'll be honest with you, and my job is not like I know everything that they assign to me, but I'm able to complete the tasks that are assigned to me by relying on my foundational knowledge and using that knowledge as a starting point, doing some research and able to complete the task that was assigned to me. This is why it is important when you are completing your hands-on project, it is more than just completing the project and uploading it into a GitHub repository. You must understand the project from the reference architecture standpoint. You must understand the services that you are using to complete the project, why you are using the services, and how to configure the service on the cloud. Basically, my advice is when you are working on your hands-on projects, take your time, make sure you dissect the project and make sure you can speak about every aspect of that project. That will help you during your job interview and when you start working, those knowledge are what you are going to rely on to complete your day-to-day -day work. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.